Wondering how to use YouTube Live for webinars? In this webinar tutorial, you'll learn how to host a webinar for free by hosting a live event on YouTube. So if you've been searching for the best webinar platform or best webinar software for live webinars, get excited to learn all about YouTube Live for marketers, which is the best live webinar software. To use YouTube Live for webinars, head over to your YouTube channel, click on the Create icon on the top right-hand side, and then on Go Live. Don't worry since you won't be live just yet. To schedule a webinar for a future date using YouTube Live, click on Manage from the left-hand side panel, and then on Schedule Stream on the top right-hand side. A Create a Webinar Stream pop-up will appear asking you to fill out your webinar details, which is just like the details you fill out for a regular YouTube video. This includes your webinar title, description, category, thumbnail, playlists, audience, and you can even click on Show More to add paid promotion settings, automatic chapters, tags, set the language and caption certification, recording location, license and distribution, comments and ratings, as well as giving. I'll go ahead and fill out those details and then click on Next at the bottom. If you wish to add YouTube ads to your webinar, make sure to turn monetization on and then select the type of ads you wish to show during your webinar, including display ads, overlay ads, sponsored cards, skippable video ads, and non-skippable video ads. Since I want the focus to be on my webinar content and on the webinar offer I'll be making at the end, I'll turn monetization off and then click on Next at the bottom. This will lead you to the Customization tab of your webinar stream where you can customize the settings to tailor your webinar stream to your needs. This includes the option to add a live chat, which lets viewers send messages to you and each other during a live webinar or premiere, live chat replay, which shows the original messages sent anytime someone watches the video recording of your live webinar, participant modes, where either anyone or just subscribers who followed your YouTube channel for a set amount of time can participate in your webinar and send messages. I'll set this to anyone. Message delay, where you can set how long you want webinar attendees to wait between sending messages. If you turn slow mode on, you'll be limiting how often people can participate in your webinar by setting a time limit between messages sent. I'll leave this turned off. Redirect, which allows you to keep viewers engaged across multiple events. And Trailer, which is a great way to share a sneak peek of your webinar and get viewers excited by adding a 15 to 3 minute upload for people to watch until your webinar content begins. Once you're done filling out these webinar customization settings, click on Next at the bottom. This is where you can choose when to go live with your webinar with YouTube Live and who can see your stream. This includes private, where only you and people you choose can watch your webinar stream, which is great if you want only those subscribed to your email list to attend your webinar, since you can invite others to view your private webinar video by entering their email addresses in the space provided and even notify them via email. Unlisted, where anyone with a webinar stream link can watch your webinar stream. Members only, where everyone can find your webinar stream, but only members can watch it. Or public where everyone can watch your webinar stream. I'll set my webinar visibility to private. Under the same section, you can also schedule your webinar by selecting the date and time you want to go live on YouTube. So let's go ahead and set that date and time, and then click on Done at the bottom. Now that you've created your webinar stream with YouTube Live, 
click on this backwards pointing arrow on the left hand side panel to go back to the Manage section. In this Manage section, click on the three little dots next to your upcoming webinar and then on Get Shareable Link. Your webinar link will be copied to the clipboard. If you open this webinar link up in a new tab, this is where your webinar will appear once you start streaming it with YouTube Live. Feel free to share this link with your webinar attendees, or if you wish to embed this webinar stream on your own website, for instance, either embed it using the webinar link or right-click on the webinar video and then click on Copy Embed Code and paste that code onto your website. On the day and time of your webinar, to go live using YouTube Live, Click on the Create icon on the top right-hand side of your YouTube channel and then click on Go Live. Click on Manage from the left-hand side panel and then on your upcoming webinar. In order to use YouTube Live for webinars, you'll need to connect to a streaming software. I use and recommend OBS since it's free and has all the features you need. So let's go ahead and open up OBS. To connect this YouTube live stream with OBS for your webinar, click on Settings on the right and then on Stream from the left-hand side panel. Make sure that Service is set to YouTube RTMP, Server is set to Primary YouTube Ingest Server, and that you paste your stream key in the space provided. You can locate your YouTube live webinar stream key under the Stream Settings and by copying the stream key that appears below that. Click on OK once you're done. When you're ready to start streaming your webinar with YouTube Live, click on Start Streaming in OBS. You won't be live just yet. To actually start live streaming your webinar with YouTube Live, head back to YouTube Live, Make sure that what you want to record is appearing in the preview on the top right hand side. For more details on how to set up your webcam and screen for webinars using OBS, like I'm doing right now, make sure to watch my video on how to set up OBS for webinars. I'll leave the link to it in the description box below, and then click on Go Live on the top right hand side. Now you'll officially be live to your webinar attendees and be using YouTube Live for webinars. You'll see that you're live since YouTube will show you a Your Live notification in the preview. If we open up the webinar link, we'll also be able to see our webinar stream over there. You can interact with your webinar attendees in the live chat on the right-hand side of your screen in the YouTube Live panel. Once you're done presenting your webinar using YouTube Live, Click on End Stream on the top right-hand side of YouTube Live. Your webinar stream will stop immediately and you'll no longer be live. Click on End to confirm. Also, make sure you head back to OBS and click on Stop Streaming there as well. Once your webinar stream has finished, you can view your webinar stats, including the number of playbacks, peak concurrence, total watch time, chat rate, average watch time, and duration. You can also click to edit the webinar you did with YouTube Live in your YouTube Studio. As you can see over here, you'll always be able to access it by clicking on Content from the left-hand side panel of your YouTube Studio, on Live from the panel up top, and then on your webinar. If you want to make the most out of the webinars you host, make sure you check out our webinar sales funnel template by clicking on the link in the description box below to boost your webinar signup rate, increase the number of people who show up live, and skyrocket your sales. If you're serious about using YouTube Live for webinars, make sure to check out our webinar tutorials playlist for even more webinar tips and tricks, as well as our free webinar stardom challenge which will show you how to get more registrants, attendees, and sales from your webinars in just five days. Leave a comment below and let me know if you'll be hosting a webinar for free with YouTube Live or if you'll be using another webinar software. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up 
and subscribe to my channel so that you can navigate the tech side of online business with ease and stay tuned for our next video, which answers the question, do I need to be on camera during a webinar? As you wait for our next video to go live, check out these two videos I have right here, and I'll see you in my next video.